welcome back. I hope your work with critics and acceptance is going. I was going to say going well, but that might be a judgment, right? So I just hope you're engaging with it. That's what I want to say. We're going to do some more work with critics now. This is the major action for this module. It's a ritual to kick those critics out of our creative space. Kick them out of your writing office. Kick them out of your dance studio. Kick them out of wherever you create. And if the place you create is simply wherever you are, kick them out of your energy field. This ritual can be as simple or as elaborate as you want. And I'll offer some suggestions in the text notes. But I want to walk us through a simple energetic banishing, so to speak. Because as long as our critics are in our creative space, whether, again, there are internal critics or external critics, our creativity is going to feel hampered, hobbled, or maybe just shy, afraid of getting hurt, afraid of exposure. Critics, sometimes they help us shape things once the first creative rush is through. For example, I have a first reader who reads my novels to make sure everything makes sense. And then I have an editor so that the copy is as clean as possible before heading out to the reader. But what I don't do is let those voices in when I'm working. And that has taken time and a process for me. And it may take time and a process for you. So whatever your creative joy is, don't let the critics in during the creative process. You can always get feedback later. That's what they can be good at. But don't let them in when you're first in that flow. So I want us to practice right now inviting them outside our own personal space. That's a place to begin. So take a breath. Imagine you can drop your attention down into your center, that place between your navel and your pelvic bowl. And just take another deep inhalation and exhalation there. And now imagine a sphere of your personal space around you. Imagine it's a globe or an egg shape that's equidistant above and below, side to side. It doesn't have to be a perfect sphere. As I said, it can sometimes seem like an egg. That's okay. However you want to imagine it is fine. But just know that it's your space. And notice how spacious or small it feels. And notice if it feels good to you, if it feels right. If your personal space is too far out, it might mean you're taking care of too many other people's stuff and you need to pull it in a little bit. If it feels too close, it may mean you're not giving yourself enough room. So let's take a breath, inhale into center, and on your next exhalation, imagine you can calibrate the edges of your personal space and get them to a distance that feels right for you. For most of us, it's a two to three feet around. So breathing in, Exhale and either 
push your energy field out, your personal space out, or maybe draw it in. Let's do that again. Inhale and adjust your edges of your personal space. Inhale into center. Exhale and adjust the edges of your personal space. And if part of you is critical of this and thinks it feels foolish, that's okay too. We'll deal with that voice in a moment. Right now, I'm just interested in the fact that we're trying. So now that we're adjusted and we have a sense of our personal space, we're going to invite our critics to step outside. All those critical voices. We're going to inhale into center. And as we exhale, we're going to gently push them out past our edges and let them go about their business somewhere else. And we're going to do this three times. Breathe into center. Exhale with a gentle push and feel them move out. Inhale into center. Exhale and allow the critics to move out. Don't forget behind. Inhale to center one last time. Big exhalation, push them out. And now inhale. And imagine your next exhalation sealing the edge of your personal space, forming a boundary. And tell yourself and your creativity, this is my space and this is where I create. This is where I manifest my passion, my desire into something the world has never seen. I will express myself, no matter what my critics say. Blessed be.